We are going to demonstrate how to place a gauge glass into service on a power boiler that is equipped with water gauge glass valves that include ball checks. Where specifications require use of ball check valves ahead of a water level gauge glass, they comply with the details in Section 1 of the ASME Boiler and Pressure Vessel Code. The decision to use ball checks is a user option. It is not a code requirement. Before proceeding, follow all plant lockout tagout procedures required. All inspection and maintenance steps should be performed by a qualified operator or technician and should be executed in accordance with all applicable national and local codes and plant procedures. The use of water gauge valves with the ball check option can protect personnel and plant equipment from damage in the unlikely event of a gauge glass failure. The disadvantage of using ball checks with water gauge valves on boiler applications is the less effective steam blowdown that results. This is due to a restricted flow of steam through the upper check valve when the drain valve is opened. The blowdown procedure causes the flow through the upper valve to act similarly to a failed glass condition. We will now demonstrate how to place a gauge glass in service using valves equipped with ball checks for lever actuated and chain wheel actuated valve types. Follow these steps to commission quarter turn lever or T-handle actuated water gauge valves with ball checks. First, check the upper and lower water gauge valve and drain valve to be sure they are all in their closed positions. Confirm the operating chains and pull handles have been installed on valves per the OEM instructions, with the levers aimed downward at about a five o'clock position, and the chain installed taut on the right pull to close side of the levers. If there is a little bit of slack on the left side, it is okay. If one valve opens slightly more than the other, it is okay, but they must both close tightly with no slack on the right, pull to close side. Be sure both handles are installed on the bottom ends of the chains. Inspect the discharge piping on the drain valve outlet to be sure it has been routed to a safe location away from the operator who will open or close the valve. Open both water gauge valves approximately one eighth of a turn to enable flow. Use care to open these valves slowly. If a leak is detected when opening the valves, stop the process and close the valves. Repair the leak before proceeding. You should be able to observe the water level in the gauge glass rise slowly and come to a stop. Once the water level in the gauge glass has stopped rising, fully open the valves. Note, if you have difficulty getting the water level to appear or the valve levers are not equipped with chains, start over by closing both valves and fully open the upper valve first. Then open the lower valve. The water level should appear. Now we are going to demonstrate how to commission a water gauge that has chain wheel operated valves with ball checks. Use the following steps. First, check the upper and lower water gauge valves and drain valve to be sure they are all in their closed positions. Then, inspect the discharge piping on the drain valve outlet to be sure it has been routed to a safe location away from the operator who will open or close the valve. Using the operating chains, open the upper chain wheel valve approximately one half of a turn. Then, open the lower chain wheel valve approximately one half of a turn. If a leak is detected when opening the valves, stop the procedure and close the valves. Repair the leak before proceeding. Observe the rising water level in the gauge glass come to a stop. Once the water level in the gauge glass has settled, fully open the upper valve. Then fully open the lower valve. The commissioning procedure for the water gauge glass is now complete. The use of ball checks may result with increased gauge maintenance due to contamination buildup on the glass. There is no specified interval for maintenance for the ball checks within water gauge valves. Plant procedures, policies, and water quality will dictate the frequency needed. However, we recommend annual inspection of these valves 
Any inspection work on these valves must be conducted when the boiler is shut down. To inspect the ball checks, refer to the OEM instructions for the components of the water gauge valves. For assistance with Reliance equipment, consult the factory or your local Reliance technical representative with any questions. Please have the model numbers and or reference drawing numbers available when calling. Installation photos can also be helpful for diagnosis of a concern. You can also contact us at our email address, reliance.app.eng at clarkreliance.com.